If you're looking for some green stick action, some mahi mahi, some live baiting, this is the video for you. This is gonna be probably the biggest load of mahi mahi this year so far. And that is not just some clickbait, it is the real deal. We we catch some mahi mahi. We also are gonna announce our winner from last week's video who's gonna go fishing with us. Somebody got it right on the number. We'll show that at the end. We're also going to the Bart Hall show in San Diego from the 15th of February to the 18th of February. We'll have a booth there. We'll be selling shirts, lures, a bunch of other things. Come by, say hi. It's gonna be me, Ninja Henry, Kamikaze Mark, and uh, Cody Boy himself might stop by. I think he might be there for a day or two, but we'll be there the whole time. We're not gonna fly back to the 20th of February. So the 19th is a Monday. We're hoping maybe we can run to somebody or we can meet somebody to Take us fishing in San Diego, maybe make a video of it on the Monday the 19th. Fingers crossed. And we're also looking for restaurants where we'll bring the fish and we're gonna feature your restaurant making the fish, preparing it, and give you guys some advertising for you guys and help us get some content. So if you know anybody or have any ideas, message us or email us. But I guess that's it. I'll see you guys after the intro. It's gonna be epic and there's gonna be some fish caught. All right, but here we go for the dream. Just Hawaii, this is what we do. <laughs> Hawaii, first time here, welcome aboard. Coming back. Welcome back aboard. Today, we're fishing outside of Kaneohe. We're trying to get some live bait. Uh, we're gonna go see if we can find some Mai Mai on the outside. Not much of a report going on right now, so let's see if we can make something happen today. Fishing me is the one and only Ninja Henry and our Ikki Miles empty right now. And also fishing with us is the one and only Cody boy, right there. He was off today, so I was like, let's go catch some bait, let's go for Mai Mai. And he's like, that's a great idea. So we're gonna go tag to and look for Mai Mai today. Some big ones, 22. We got Cody boy right next to us. Cody boy! How's the pedal bite? Cody boy next to us catching on Pelu. Yeah, we on. We call these fish Opelu in Hawaii. But they're just the type of mackerel that we have in Hawaii, and they make excellent bait. The big window to catch bait is really small, so we're trying to catch bait right now. And for all the stuff we use, catch Opelu, not all lures, links are in my bio, we have from highfishkit.com. Go off five and check out, by far the best Opelu baits ever. Pretty good out, one drift, 30 pieces. Right? We got Cody Boy next to us catching bait. How much bait you got, Cody Boy? 30? Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, let's get a little bit more. We got about 30. 12 seconds later. Oh, doing good. 40 baits? 50 baits? Not too bad. Okay, we just got to the buoy. Cody caught bait, so Cody got here before us. We tried to catch a few more. He dropped one bait, he just got something on. Like I said, we're targeting Mai Mai today. We'll see if there's Mai Mai over here. Not much going on, and I guess there's Mai over here. Let's see what happens. Let's get by this buoy and we'll drop a bee in the water. Let's see if we hook ourselves a Mai Mai also. But what's the rules, Henry? With any good fishing trip, if you want to get something, you got to give something. I tell you what, that seven last family to be is almost as good as those live opelus. All right, let's get this some water, boys and girls. Here we go for the dream. It's gonna be good today. Got the poles right up a light bait. Energy's gonna get bait down. Let's see if we can get something. Cody said he got one by my and just got a 20 inch. I guess we should get my lines here. My my. Big one, we're too close to the buoy, that's why. Oh, look at oh. Rachel Coney. Is it a big one or what? Yeah. 
Oh, look at that, it's a Goldie Demon. Look at that. Yes, I'm gonna eat you, huh? I think I'm gonna mine him. Oh boy. So we gotta mine my on. We are Mahi Mahi on Super Yeah, you can toss this one up. You don't think so? Here, the hangout is on your side. Use the hangout. The big one. Here. Bring it a little closer. Bring it a little closer. It's a big, big one. Please mentally prepare yourself for the what you're about to see. Because this is just straight ugly. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Yeah, that took all of what, two minutes, Henry? Not even? No. Yeah, our plan's working. We're gonna get my wives. There's something else. Good, send it. Still on, baby. So, one more pole set up for me. Only about four poles today. Like I said, the plan was to lie date pay. So, only about four poles. And we got those two extra as spares. Something happened, we'll get extra reels. And then give more electrics. The leader line we're using right now is 250 pound fluorocarbon, Jinkai, with a. Uh, nine old circle hooks for live bait so we'll see all the gear that we're using for this links will be in the bio you can get at highfishgear.com raw fiber check out five percent off support local and that's where i get all my gear from that's we put fish in a boat don't you think they did all right let's go back up see let's go by this buoy there's like four boats over here weird i right, get an aqua right here i'm gonna double my my Double my mind the light beat. Turn that one off. It came off, yeah? Yeah, it came off. I'll just give the other one for now. A 12 pounder. See that? That double arm it came off. Uh, set back up and go again. Blowing up right in front of us, Henry. Look at this. Holy crap, that's wild. Right next to the boat. <laughs> oh, the shibis are aquas, Henry. Oh, shibis, yeah? Shibis are like, they're not going to last. It's like higher, yeah? Oh, I, I don't think it's going to last. I see why I can see out of blue. Oh. Oh, no. yeah, Little my mind, let's see what Henry does. Alright, three my mind. The even is a little sick. Let's take a um, so three foot C swell one direction, six to seven foot the other direction. I just make a wash machine out here and the wind's going another direction. The wind is light, but it's just Street washing machine out here today. I'm not the nicest for him today. I keep going. So, yeah, three my minds. Stick to the plan, it's working. What is it, a 25 pound shibi? Nice, so corny. 25 pound shimmy, 25, maybe 30. Take that. Nice one. Yeah, good boy. The birds are back up again. Small little shimmy's over here, like 12 pounders or so. There's mice in them. The two beats, one on this side, one on this side. That bill's getting very frantic on this side if you watch the rubber band. Very frantic. Pretty sure we'll get a bite pretty soon. 10 o'clock, he's still sick. But yeah, he has to go home once yet. Yeah, I'll take that as a win. All right, all right, we'll go through them. Should be mice in these. Yeah, it's probably on, right? Just set it, turn it on. 
Oh, no? Yeah. Pretty good size one. That other guy's coming through, too. Yeah, no. Small little glass ball with a rabbit to those boats, so why don't you get knocked by it? Oh. Are we taking from the other side? Yeah, you're gonna have to, I think. I think that's the biggest negative about catching mahi mahis. They are the tango masters. You might hook them on the starboard side of the boat, but they're gonna wanna come up on the port side. And sometimes it's the other way around. Mahi mahis love to tangle everything. That's four. So I put a carrot spoon on the short corner. What we do is I get your aqua and I be the aqua. See, see so if we get something a little bit bigger than a pillow till I be. Walk through these again, see if we get a bite. Henry, look at me. Put a little work in it, a little, a little wrist work. When you jerk it, jerk it, work it, work it, work it. Put a little wrist work in it. There you go. There you go. Just like that. Just. Just like that. That's how you know that's a, that's a girl dad right there. Just like that. Swinging them hips. Jump in, Uncle Henry. Hey, bring that line real fast. Bring that line real fast. I'll go get it. Glass ball. That's what we started earlier. We thought somebody picked it up, but it's thinner. This has to be the find of the day. Oh, he's going to push over. Let's see if you get it. Let's see it again. It's not Henry. Yeah. Figure it out. Should we here? Yeah. What about the fish? Oh, it's got like this fish. Okay, yeah. So we epic. already know who won the gift of the day. It's us. Gla oh, there's little crabs on it, Damien. Glass ball. That's so epic, Henry. There's all Nehu's in there too, Henry. Here, Henry. Here, put this away. That's so epic. Can I have a crab? This, this, the, the, the scary thing is those crabs, you don't have to over from over here. It could be like invasive, you know what I mean? Oh, the road the boat is, right? You know what the road the boat is on glass balls, right, Henry? What? Whoever spots it, that's theirs. <laughs> there you go, first glass ball on the Molelo. I really like you one forever. I can't believe you found one today. You. We thought, we thought somebody else grabbed it. We thought Noah grabbed it. Epic. That is so epic. That right there made my day. We always pound fish. We always load fish up. 500 pound days, 1,000 pound days, 800 pound days. I tell you what, it's the little things in life. That glass ball. To me, it's like a thousand pound day. It might not be worth much. It's probably only worth like 20 hours, but I tell you what, finding something that is epic. That's awesome. That's, that's so awesome. I've only found two in my life. And I've been fishing from when I was younger than him. And I've only got two in my life. And both of them was Kanyoi's side. Unbelievable. You're my hero today, Blue. Right. You're putting a stick out. We're marking some big fish deep. Then I'll end the bait. There's still my Mai there, but they're literally their shibis deep, so we're gonna try to get some shibis. Give me 10 more to right, please. All right, there's a breakaway. Send it. All right, here we go, Henry. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kid, any more, please? All right, first pass by the can with the green stick. Mahi Mahi! Got it? Yeah. Who's that, Zanah? Not bad. We got it, Gray. Yep, we got it. That's Mahi. Take that. Let oh. the stick put that out. We got what? What's that, like a 12 or 13 pound Mahi Mahi, Henry? Walk down the stick. Looking for the shibis, there's some marks deep. Yeah. yeah. Some marks deep, but right, let's make it back by the buoy. Okay, yeah, we're coming to the zone. It came out my nose. Yeah, so I have to do vomit. Sorry, I have to see the best of us.
All right, we got another Mahi Mahi on. This the Mahi Mahi's can't resist the dancing squids, eh, Henry? No. Yeah. hold it right here on the corner. It's a dead man switch, you have to hold it so that way something happens, it doesn't just stay on. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Gotta be, yeah. Oh, he's electric, yeah, gotta be. He's electric, blue, though. You can just toss him, you can just toss him. He's not that big, Henry. Good? Toss him in. Yeah, you. Try to shake, shake it before you let it go, because I'm going to stop. Give me a quiet game, man. Pretty good. What's that? Six Mahi Mahi, Henry? Mm -hmm. Six Mahi Mahi? Yeah. Enough! The thing's dead already! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good time. We just missed one number one. I'll just shoot you. I'll go big one. Oh! We got, we're on. Come on. Why are you not shooting my wife? Shoot you. Oh, I made it a big one. Also, I'm, I'm kind of trying to see my deer and all. I have a feeling later on you might get some bigger ones coming off. I can't shake this gas smell either. Why? Right, because there's no wind and you know how to club them on the outside? Yeah, it's making me super lightheaded. Yeah, he went down to his body. He's like, he went neutral down to his body. He's like, he's like, we're throwing the needle on this pass, Henry. Between the buoy and Coney, we're going to run the slip. Handle it! Handle it, Henry! He got something. Oh, yeah? My, my. Oh, Cody! There's my mice all over here! Oh. But there's a whole bunch of my mice, Cody! But there's like seven or eight my mice right there by your my mice, Cody! Oh! That's a show, eh? We run the stick, and yeah, we watch Cody fight fish! Get it! If I snag it, it's mine! <laughs> Cody's gonna keep coming down the my mice, so he's right towards us, Henry. But there's like seven or eight. Could you see him? Yeah. Oh, we're on. What number? Number one. The size one? Yeah. Yeah. And you said about the same size as the last one. Let's see if his guesstimation is correct. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty accurate, Henry. Maybe a little, I think it looks a little bigger. Hard to say though, it's, it's down. Kind of protection, yeah? Hard to say, yeah. Uh, Awesome. Awesome, Henry. Oh, got the laser. Awesome. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Same size? Yeah. That's good size. A little bit bigger. But oh, it's definitely a little bit fatter, huh? Yeah. There's one more. That's two. Hi, my. Hi, my. No more money on the stick. Can we kick it all in? No, there's a little bit more. Watch out, the link went past. Lost the guy. Yeah, you. You think half drowned it. Coney's going home, so we're going to take his bait. He had to change the battery earlier today, so he's getting back by the motors. He had like really bad carbon monoxide poisoning, so he's been like not seasick, just like dizzy sick, which isn't good. So we're gonna take his little pillow, we're gonna go home. Or well, he's gonna go home. That's probably the most I've ever thrown up. <laughs> ever in my life. Hey, dude, wait today. <laughs> think about Ciao. it. Ciao. Let me eat curry. I think I have like four or five curry pounders. Oh, uh, we got. Let's see. 
Almost there. Almost there. Next wave should be there. One more wave. There you go. Oh! That's all of them. Nobody. Hey, Tony. Good luck, boys. Yeah, good luck. Good going. Oh, wait. Let me take care of this mod monitor. Really let me know if you need anything. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. You got drinks and stuff? You have drinks? Oh. Tony, you got drinks? Yeah, I'm good. Text me when you get in. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. Huh? Buoy. So we we learned your specialty. You're a buoy and ledge master. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Play bouncy. Between me and my crew, I always like to say that we're always properly prepared for any situation. Whenever there's a school my my or something like this around. I would like to think we're always prepared to capitalize and make the most of the opportunity. This day, the opportunity presented itself and we were able to capitalize. It's not always like this, but we had a giant school of my mind come up behind the boat and we were able to jig a good amount of them up. In this type of situation, if you're properly prepared, you'll, able, you'll be able to capitalize and make the most out of it. And I feel like we probably maximize the opportunity and potential we have for this day. You don't always get this lucky. Whenever you can jig my my up, you gotta love it. My beer. <laughs> oh. Oh my. <laughs> So as you saw, we we're able to pull a few mai mai, a couple that not too bad. They were fighting pretty decently, so we got some mai mai in the boat. Um, I think we get a few more, and then once it gets a little later, we're gonna try to set up and see if the tuna fish come up because we definitely mark some. So let's go try to get some more mai mai. Let's get set back up. I mean, we just kept on catching on my mice. Kind of slowed down. There's still a lot left, but they didn't want to bite. We stung a couple of them, anyway. We poked them. We poked them after they felt the hook. They told their friends, don't bite that stuff. It's not good. So I think we got, I don't know, a couple dozen my mice somewhere on there. Let's see when we get in. Uh, but we've got two baits out. We two put two pills out. We got about an hour and 10 minutes for dark. We're going to see if something big can look for that late bite. The tide change is happening now. Let's see the tuna fish come up. Mark some fish deep, so we'll see. We're gonna clean up because it is a mess. There is just nastiness everywhere. I should have put left my grundings on. Should have left your grundings on, Henry. Should have left your grundings on. Why? What happened? Did you sell my Maya caught? Oh, my Maya got a little fellow. My side. Doubles. Double my Maya. Double my Maya. Double my Maya, Henry. Yeah. Really? Yep. Oh. Oh. Double my mic. Ruin the beats. Beat the beats. You wanna ruin it? You want this all day, right? Let's go. This side. This side. Fish coming in. Ah, what's up? Oh! Amy, your fish got cookie cutter. Fish cookie cutter. Did it? Yeah. Your name is Mai Mai. 
Jimmy, come here. Come here. Come here. You wrote this in. Come on, hurry up. Let it go. There. <laughs> my mic. Come a little closer. Come a little closer to the camera. He says. Come a little closer. Look at me. 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 Okay. Nothing really the stick. I nothing really the live beat. So we don't put the stick, but this side's full of money, money. I don't know, man. I think a couple dozen, maybe like twenty or so. We'll offload when we get in. We'll stick out about fifty more minutes of dark. We'll make a pass on the buoy. See if there's still tuna fish here. Been here all day. Like I said earlier, game pounds get my my. There ain't much going on. I guess the green pound worked out, huh, Henry? <laughs> Doesn't always work that way. So I'd rather be lucky than good. Lucky today. Getting lucky lot lately. Oh, that was a good size one, huh? Yeah. Came off, though. Yeah. That was a good size one. It's another sunset with Henry. And a sunset with Damien. Damien, look at that sunset, how pretty that is. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is unreal. That's it. I want 10 more minutes to get started. Now once we get in, we'll pull out everything and uh, lay on the deck and see what we got. I'm sure we're gonna feed lots of friends and family. Can I eat mahi mahi? Yeah, good, good, because they're gonna tell us you the whole week. Yeah, let's bring another pass by. When we get two more passes before it gets dark, we'll see. I think it was definitely a mahi mahi day. Oh, right there, John. Oh, my. I came off. Number three. Oh, oh we're on. That's the girl one. Is that my mouth? Tuna fish. That's yeah, tuna fish, yeah? Tuna fish. Okay, everybody, here we go. Get your popcorn ready. If you haven't already, hit the like, hit the subscribe. We're going to see what Henry does here. It's going to be either really, really good or really, really, really bad. I think it's going to be really, really good. I mean, it'd be really, really good. I have confidence in Henry. And it's on a short line too. So that makes it a lot easier for everyone involved. All right, here we go, Henry. You got ready? Good size one. Good size one. Oh yeah, that's a good size one, Henry. Henry, that's a real one. I think a 60 pounder. Okay, you it up? Got any help? Yeah, I got it. No matter what we caught today, this glass ball was by far the final of the day. This is a straight ocean treasure. Japan began manufacturing glass floats around 1910 and used them extensively until they themselves were replaced by plastic and aluminum floats in the 1970s. In the 60 years they were in use, vast quantities of these floats broke away from the nets and were lost at sea. I don't even know up. there's a date shows you how old they are. I'm sure this thing is probably 20, 30, maybe 50 years old, who knows. Last in the harbor, nobody's here. All I know is good job, Henry. That was a lot of hooks to pull. We didn't count yet. I think, I said 50, two harry said 54 that's before he pulled everything out i think there's probably a lot more than that <laughs> so not bad good day uh, i guess we'll see you guys at the, the auction we're gonna drop some off and we're gonna give a lot of weight to friends and family at least we fish for free today i'm sure we'll cover expenses we dropped off 42 henry took home two uh and i saved 12 more that we're gonna call the gift for friends and family. So we drove off 42. Hopefully cover expenses today. We'll see. We do this for fun. We go fishing once a week. This isn't our full-time job, but there's lots of guys out there that do this commercially for a living six days a week, five days a week. All I can say is support local fishermen. The economy has been bad. Fish prices have been terrible. This load, we averaged $1.53 a pound. It's mind boggling, but that's just the state of the economy and fish prices right now. So anytime you can support local, support your local fishermen, especially the commercial guys. So congratulations to the winner. The closest to it or the on it wins the trip. We had 422 pounds of fish for our first trip of the year. Not too bad. Working on our goal slowly. So 422 pounds of fish. And this week, um, 
I haven't written it down. I don't have the number on the top of my head. I think it was like 600 something pounds of fish. So add that to a total and slowly we're chipping away at that 12,000 pounds, which is our goal for the year. But uh, congratulations to the winner again. So if you won, message me on Instagram or shoot me an email and let's get you fishing with us. But next week, we just got done filming this past week. It's another banger. You guys are going to want to miss it. I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next week. As always, tight line, stay fishing. We'll see you on the water, under the water. Hello, everybody. Have a great week. What about the fisherman? You want this fish from the sea. The water's too murky, too hot to see. And the farmer man, you want to plant his car.